DJ. <laughs> DJ. Ha, <laughs> DJ. Milton, come here. Milton, come here, Bubby. Milton, you are not walking in the right direction. Come here, Bubby. Come here, Milton. Good boy. Good boy. Come here, Maddie. Come here, Maddie. Milton. Come here, Maddie. It's like hurting cats. Good girl. Come here, Maddie Princess. Come here, good girl. Milton. Whoa. 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 Sit. Whoa. Hey. Good boy. Hola, JJ. Good morning, Amazing. Eva. Walking into work just saying hi. Oh, see you on the replay. Oh, uh, hi, Treva. Buenos dias, Didas. Karen <laughs> said, just got a Costco membership so I can buy the 30 count of zip fizz. That's what's up. So for meal prep, today's a meal prep day. I have decided to go with cracked chicken. Uh, and that's just because I'm making it in the crock pot yeah, and it seems so easy. Yeah, it's basically yeah, yeah. just chicken breast. It's almost like a buffalo chicken dip or just like a, a chicken dip in you, general. You had me at you do, buffalo. You do chicken breasts mm -hmm. and then you put cream cheese in there. Okay. And then uh, so the, there are a whole bunch of other spices like dill and parsley mm -hmm. and all this other stuff. And basically you just let that melt down in the crock pot. And then you let that go for like six, eight hours. And then at the end, you put in cheddar cheese, bacon bits, and then you top it with green onions. Wow. Hello. Wow. So, and I saw somebody say they mix in a little can of a green chilies. Like, mm. oh, and of course, I'm putting some jalapenos in there. Hello. husband done got him a project oh my gosh why would you think that this is appropriate to do <laughs> in our living room why wouldn't you go outside what are you doing we're watching tv <laughs> we're watching tv so you have to repot our <laughs> herbs right here oh on the me. from the couch i will clean it all up oh my gosh a process look at this is a lot messier than i thought which one is this richard this is mint oh now we have mint <laughs> Yep, you're just repotting it right here in our in our communal <laughs> living space. So there's that. This would have been a lot more appropriate in the backyard. I know. We should have taken the TV out there. <laughs> <laughs> I've done a whole lot of stuff, clearly. 
did a YouTube lab this morning, went to the grocery store, put that delicious cracked chicken in the crock pot. It is just about done. It is creamy and it falls apart. So I just have it on warm right now. I was supposed to exercise this morning, but I really didn't feel like it. And I thought I was gonna go the whole day without exercising. And then my Aunt Beverly calls me and is just like, hey, me and your mom usually go walking in the evenings. Do you wanna come with us? And I was like, you know what? I am due for a walk. Like I haven't been on a walk all week and I really don't have the internal motivation to go by myself. So I am glad that she invited me. So we are gonna do our social distance walk alone together. But it'll be good to be outside. It is a beautiful day outside, you guys. That's kind of bittersweet because it's Derby weekend here in Louisville, Kentucky, and this city is just supposed to be a buzz with celebrities and gamblers and horses and all sorts of people. It's supposed to be a party time right now, but that's not happening due to that 19. And the worst part, once again, is that the weather, like, you know, <laughs> The weather's generally great leading up to Derby and then for some reason horrible on Derby. So of course, since we're not having Derby this year, the weather's perfect, so I just feel bad for everyone. There's people that turn their front lawns into parking lots, people Airbnb their house. You know, this is a big deal around here, so hopefully it goes off in September as planned, but it sucks that it's not happening now, but I am definitely taking advantage of this good weather and going on a walk. Say hi, Beverly. Hello! Love oh my you! God, you yell. You guys! Okay, so you guys know my Aunt Beverly. Craftress extraordinaire. Did all the floral arrangements and basically most of the decorations for my wedding. So, of course, I haven't been to her house in weeks because of all of this stuff going on. So, I get here and look at this little craft display that she has set up. You guys, she made all of this stuff herself. Like, using stencils and taking things off of what they were originally on and repurposing them. Look at all these little knickknacks and decorations and stuff like that. Like, this is amazing. Look at all this. I mean, she could sell this directly to Hobby Lobby. Say hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Oh, my God. Okay guys, I am back from that walk, finally done with meal prep. That was a doozy. I thought I walked fast. Aunt Beverly got some legs on her and she is not afraid to use them. So that was a very quick pace. We did just under three miles. It was awesome, but I'm glad to have gotten home and finished my meal prep and let me show it to you. Okay guys, pretty similar to last week. We have that coffee with the heavy whipping cream and the chocolate almond milk, butter, sweetener, and that preferred keto collagen. This week, instead of the cello wisps and almonds, I found this keto snack mix at Costco, which kind of has the same thing in it. It's just a bunch of mixed nuts, and the cheese snacks are more like moon cheese instead of cello wisps, and I am definitely okay with that. So I'm kind of just gonna use this snack mix this week. And then for the main meal, we have that cracked chicken. This was amazing. You saw I just put the chicken and the spices and the cream cheese in the crock pot. I shredded and added some sharp cheddar cheese and some bacon bits, so that is just amazing. I'm gonna have that with lettuce, with the Outer Isle Gourmet cauliflower wraps. And then on top, I'm just gonna sprinkle some green onion. I'm also gonna top it with mustard and cheese. And then I'm gonna have some more pork rinds and guacamole. And finally, I'm gonna end the day with the chocolate coconut butter fat bomb. So I did something a little different. I used half the amount of shredded coconuts and I added in chopped pecans this week so i can't wait to taste that and see what difference it made i actually got the idea from chocolate city in our facebook group you guys once again if you're not in the facebook group just search WAC w-a-k daily keto updates on facebook and join us over there it is an awesome place for inspiration and ideas like this one here uh, and then finally i'm going to have jello and sprite zero Okay guys, before I end out the day, I just wanted to share some happy mail with you that I received. This first box is from Switch Grocery. Even though it has the Keto Crate tape on it, I think that is very interesting. I don't know why they would do that. 
but I know it's from Switch Grocery. This is my last order from Neha before she had to close down the US store. I'm definitely bummed for her, but I know what it feels like for your business venture to not go as planned, so I wish her the best, but I am glad that I got this order. Oh yeah, it's just a box of keto bars, you guys. Like that's all it is. It's just, it's just a box of, oh, okay. And I can drop one because I got 11 more. You know what I'm saying? Like, I definitely just used Switch Grocery to stock up on my keto bars. I only got the chocolate peanut butter flavor. It is my favorite. It is the only one I will choose. Although I really like all of them, but I don't need variety, you guys. You clearly know this about me. Hashtag Taco Bowl. But like, I'm so glad that I got these. But even more so, look at this big daddy that I got in the mail today. I know exactly what it is. Oh yeah, oh man, it's just more boxes. But look what they are. Five boxes of Zip Fizz. Let's see what flavors I got. Okay, the weird thing about getting them from Costco is that they don't come in the retail packaging, but that's okay. First flavor is peach mango. I'm so excited. I mean, we haven't had peach mango in so long. And they gave us a sample of limon and we all know how i feel about limon that's exciting grape look richard you'll be excited about that oh we got another sample in here pink grapefruit oh this is great oh my god am i bleeding this is like chopped on food network i accidentally cut myself um fruit punch i am 100 percent here for this and they gave us another pink grapefruit as a sample i will take that all right, penultimately we have, oh yeah, blueberry raspberry. I am 100% here for that. And is this gonna be yet another pink grapefruit? I don't even remember, I got this so long ago. Oh, it's pink lemonade. Oh, oh yeah, this is exciting. And oh, we have a limon. So guys, when I tell you we was out, out, like this is our roulette jar and it is literally empty. So I am going to be excited to dump this 30, 60, 90, 120, 150 tubes <laughs> of Zip Fizz <laughs> into the roulette container. That is money well spent. Okay guys, well that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to watch my What I Eat Wednesday video to see how I put everything together. Overall, I'm becoming a big fan of the crock pot. Those meals are awesome and I can't wait to try it all out. I'll see you next week. Bye.